Come with me on this Friday Feeling Thursday and we're going to be doing a Halbeck service on this 2011 Volkswagen Passat All Track. First thing we need to do is get the car in the air. Now that we've got the vehicle in the air, the first thing you need to do is remove this bung here, the filling bung. Yeah. So when we remove the drain plug, all the oil will come out nice and easy. Now that we've got the top filling bung out, let's get the drain plug removed. We can just capture all the oil. Let's see the condition of it. It's taking a while, this. There we go, that is the oil draining out. And I've got it going into a lovely little receptacle. Now I need to jump around to the Haldex pump, which is held on with two Foreman Allen keys. And you do need to give them a just bit of a wiggle before they come out. And it'll just pull out and some more oil will drain out, lovely. Now be careful when removing these pumps because there's an electrical wire going to them. And the reason why you need to take these out is because on the end of them, there is a wire gauze and as you can see, it is full of crap. Anyway, we can remove this with some little torques and we can get this clean out. Now that we've got that filter removed, you can quite clearly see how blocked it is. And how I'm going to clean it is literally with a bit of brake and clutch cleaner. Oh, yeah. And there we go, that is the filter looking like brand new. We'll get this put back to the pump and we'll get the other filter out. Now we need to remove the paper filter and there's two four mils holding that on. Get yourself a pair of grips and give that a good twist. They can be a bit tricky to get off them caps can. Well that came off quicker than I thought. Anyway, as you can see in there, there's a paper filter which Volkswagen say isn't in there. So we need to just get it out now. They are a swine to get out. And just a little tip for anybody that can't get these out of struggle to get them out. Get a self tap screw, screw it into the middle there, get yourself a pair of pliers and it'll just prise out. Just like that. Perfect. Good little tip that is if you don't know how to do it already. And there we go, that is one paper, uh, paper filter out, if that's what you want to call it. So all we need to do now is literally give everywhere a nice clean through with some brake and clutch cleaner. And there we go, that is everything in there now looking like bloody brand new. How many times can I say brand new in this video? Now we've got the brand new filter that has arrived, which is a bog warner, and that is the part number, if anybody needs it. And in the kit you get a new filter and the new end cap with a new plastic cap and two new bolts. Now I've put the new filter in and I've just put a little bit of red rubber grease around the o-ring and the same to the Haldex pump itself and we're just going to get it slid in. Now I need to move around to putting the oil in and I've put the drain plug back in and that is as you can see 30 newton meters and we need to just fill it up now just so it well it needs to pour out and then level off we'll be using this stuff i don't know if it's any good but we'll put it in a gun and we'll get it squirted in i will literally just have to adapt the end of it just so i can bend it in with a little clear washer fluid pipe and we'll just get it pumped in and there we go that is the oil filled up and all i'm going to do now is literally just let it drain out until nothing else comes out and then we can get that bung talked up to spec and that's it that is a bung put back in all i'm going to do now is give everything a nice bit of a cleaner rooney with a bit of brake and clutch cleaner and we can get it off the ramp and yeah we're going to take it for a bit of a test drive and we'll get it sent <laughs> 